Hello my dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Spark. I hope you all are preparing well for your exam. Keep learning. And today I would like to discuss you with two important concepts that is social system and stratification. And this topic is coming under unit 2, society, human behavior and communities. And today we are going to discuss about social system and stratification and major social systems like family and religion and the concept social stratification with its major approaches like Marxist, Functionalist and Weberian. And now we can move to the session. We can start with the concept social system. I hope you all are familiar with this concept. The concept of social system embodies one of the most important sociological principles that the whole is more than the sum of its parts. The basic thing is the whole is more than the sum of its parts. And simply we can say that a social system is an orderly and a systematic arrangement of social interactions. So we can say that social system is an orderly and systematic arrangement of social interactions. And in the arrangement, Every part has a fixed place and definite role to play. So the important thing is each part has a fixed place and a definite role to play and all these parts are bounded by interactions. And social systems are open systems exchanging information with and frequently acting with reference to other systems. So at every time, social systems exchanging information with and they frequently acting with reference to other systems also. Talcott Parson, who has given the concept of system current in modern sociology. So, society may be viewed as a system of interrelated, mutually dependent parts which cooperate to preserve a recognizable whole and to satisfy some purpose of or goals. And this social system may be described as an arrangement of social interactions based on shared norms and values. So we can say that social system may be described as an arrangement of social interaction based on the norms and values. And there are different elements of social systems like beliefs, sentiment, end, goal or objective, norms, status, rank, power, sanction and facility like that. So it's about social system and now we are going to discuss about two important social systems, family and religion. First we can discuss about family. According to Sabrick and McCormick in the year 2001 stated that families are goal directed self-correcting, dynamic, interconnected systems that both affect and are affected by their environment and by qualities within the family itself. So, it's simple definition on family that is families are goal-directed, self-correcting, dynamic and interconnected systems that both affect and are affected by their environment and by the qualities within the family itself. And we can say family as a social system. It is a micro unit of social system. It is an institute of social system. It is a key of social system. And family is an institution. It is a part of social system. And from the system's perspective, it is viewed as a whole on, like simultaneously a whole and a part of large system concerned with interaction within the families and between families and the social environment of which they are a part. And family well-being or the optimum level of family functioning and how well the family satisfies its needs, keep its boundaries open and flexible and maintain beneficial structural and interactional patterns. It's about family as a social system. Next is religion. Religion is very important because it shapes people's morals, customs, traditions, beliefs and ultimately individuals' behavior. 
and this religion exists as an organized and integrated set of beliefs behaviors and norms which centered on the basic social needs and values so it is always focusing on social needs and values and religion also provide the foundation for the mores of the society and taboos in various culture have religious sanction also and we can say religion provide a means by which individual can face crisis and up and downs in the life with strength and fortitude so religion plays an important role as a social system now we can discuss about the concept social stratification social stratification is a particular form of social inequality and all societies arrange their members in terms of superiority inferiority and equality hence we can say stratification is a process of interaction of differentiation whereby some people come to rank higher than others stratification is viewed as social process as well as a method devised by sociologist to understand inequality in the society so sociologist use this method to understand the inequality in the society and social stratification refers to the ranking of members of the society in a group on the basis of their status here we can see the ranking of members of the society on the basis of their status and social stratification is the division of society into classes and that have unequal amount of wealth power and prestige so we can see an unequal amount of wealth power and prestige here is a definition given by ogburn and nimkoff social stratification is a process by which individuals and groups are ranked in more or less enduring hierarchy of status is known as stratification individuals and groups are ranked in more or less enduring hierarchy of status and the causes of stratification are inequality conflict power wealth instability etc and we can say a stratified society is always marked by inequality by differences among people and that are evaluated by them as being higher or lower or equal so we can evaluate them as a higher lower or equal and sociologists have generally differentiated between four main types of social stratification that is slavery estate caste and social class so sociologists have generally differentiated between main types of social stratification that is slavery estate caste and social class and in the stratified society inequality is part of social structure and passes from one generation to next now we can move to the approaches of social stratification first we can discuss about maxian approach of social stratification the whole maxian perspective about social stratification revolves around the concept of social classes according to max there is always a dominant and a subordinate class that is a ruling class and a subject class so max viewed class differentiation as a crucial determinant of social economic and political inequality and max believes that stratification in the capitalist society is predicated upon the idea of those who have wealth controlling or subjugating those who lack it and max differentiated between class consciousness and false consciousness for max false consciousness is a belief that upper class is superior and has the right to rule and marx believes that this change will under a socialist system and where the means of production will be owned in a public settings and not a privatized one and in making this public stratification will presumably disappear so it's about maxian perspective next we can discuss about functionalist approach of social stratification with the issue of social stratification or social inequality the functionalist view argues that 
social inequality is necessary because it fulfills vital social system needs so as per the socialist they are believe that social inequality is necessary because those inequalities fulfills vital system needs and one such functionalist view of social inequality which was developed by kinsley davis and wilbert more and that has come to known as davis more thesis in this they claim that no society is unstratified so inequality is universal and the universal nature of stratification must mean that inequality is not only unavoidable but indeed necessary to smooth working of society so they believe that inequality is not unavoidable but indeed necessary to smooth working of society and they says that ranking of position occurs according to the functional importance and amount of training or talent associated with the position here high income power prestige of a particular position are due to the functional importance or scarcity of trained personnel so stratification or unequal distribution of rewards ensure that the most talented and trained individuals will fulfill the social roles of great importance for example according to this theory doctors should be rewarded highly because expensive training is required to do their job and it is logical that society must offer greater rewards like income vacations promotions to motivate the most qualified people to fill the most important positions and therefore social inequality among different strata in the amount of scarce and desired goods the amount of prestige and esteem will they receive is both positively functional and inevitable in the society so it's about functional approach of social stratification next we can move to weberian approach on social stratification max weber's theory of stratification is an improvement over max approach like max weber work regarding stratification was related to class classification so according to weber there are three components of stratification that is power class and status and he also claimed that there are four main classes the upper class the white collar workers the petite bourgeois and the manual working class here he also argues that the major class division is between those who own the forces of production and those who don't and those who have substantial property holdings will receive the highest economic reward and enjoy the superior life chances and he said like class situation is determined by market situation people belonging to the same class share similar life chances and here class division is based on ownership and non ownership of production weber has also pointed out that the different occupation provide different market values forming different categories of social class so different occupation provide different market values and this form different categories of social class so he stated that men in the society will always strive for power and thus it becomes the reason for social stratification but on the other hand he did not support the ill treatment or poor peasants so it's about weberian approach on social stratification so to conclude in sociology today we have discussed about two concepts social system and social stratification the groups and institutions that work together to make a complete whole are known as social system that we discussed and we also discussed two important social systems like family and religion and then we moved to social stratification social stratification which refers to a system by which a society ranks categories of people in a hierarchy 
Here, the Davis Murray thesis states that social stratification has a beneficial consequences for the operation of society. And social conflict theorists disagree that social stratification is a functional for a society. Instead, they argue that social stratification benefits some at the expense of others. So, two theorists like Karl Marx and Max Weber are primary contributors to this perspective. So, I hope this session will be helpful for you. And if you have any suggestion, please give me a comment. And for my next video, I would like to discuss you with the topic human behavior, which is coming under unit 2 and in which I will discuss about normal and abnormal behavior, determinants and lifespan perspectives of human development, that is developmental tasks and hazards of different life stages like prenatal, infancy, babyhood, childhood, puberty, adolescence and adulthood. So, Prepare well for your exam. Keep learning. See you on next video. Bye.